Hello, it's Mariah Fury here, or just Mariah. And I know I finally am talking in this video. I decided to finally talk because my roommates are out and about, and I get the whole place to myself. And I won't be disturbed. I might be by the kitty, but she is sleeping right now. And, um, I thought it was really cool with this update. Cool music. It's obviously temporary. I'm guessing it's only going to be until, like, November 1st. And what I wanted to do in this video is go ahead and in-person train uh, Sandstorm and Raven because I've been playing this game since, um, you know, since the, I think maybe a little before or after they closed the beta applications. And... <laughs> I was so blind that I couldn't, I was like, I was thinking to myself, why can't I like train, you know, how I can train in the riding hall, why can't I train my horse like outside the riding hall like I would inside? And I discovered <laughs> I can. I can do jumping, I can do um, any of the stats I want as long as my horse has stamina for it. And I was training her. And I didn't record that because I was training her earlier, and I didn't record because my roommates haven't left yet. And that's when I also decided I will go ahead and talk. I love what they did to the Palomino codes from what I've seen with the other beta, beta testers, and I'm sorry if I'm a little loud. I'm wearing headphones, <laughs> so I can't really tell how loud I am. Sorry. Anyways, so... Um, from what I could tell from the other beta testers, they only might have done other Palomino coats and that's it. I don't know why they wouldn't do Raven's coat either. And the developers did that. We had no decision into doing it. And if it was a bigger company, I wish they would have put in like cool Halloween tag and stuff like that. But because they're so small, they just wanted to do something, you know, small. That is so cool. I'm sorry I cannot get over Sandstorm's look. I wish I could like turn it on and off, but oh well. Anyways, let's get her attacked up and then energized. I'm pretty sure I already have a trail riding one, but I might want to change it. Or, oh, I have, okay. I do have variety. Uh, I guess this one. Let's take away the ear net. Oh, okay, the ear nets are gone. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Don't want any of those. Um. Hmm. I don't like that with the saddle. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> um. Yeah, and I like the Liberty side pool. Oh, and a little bit of background on me. About me. Uh, with the equestrian life, I, when I was in like, I would say elementary or early junior high, like eighth grade, maybe at the most, I used to go to 4-H because, and <laughs> believe it or not, the, uh, I think they're called crosswalkers, the uh, people who pull out the stop sign to let kids cross after school, she actually, she still does, to this day owns a ranch. And she used to do 4-H. Um, it actually did cost, I don't know how much. Obviously kind of too young to deal with the finances. Or at least my uh, parents wouldn't let me. Anyways, so my uh, my stepdad used to pay for my 4-H uh, lessons. And it was so fun. Uh, we would clean out their stalls. At... We would ride them, we would tack them up on our, by ourselves, and we did have um, other older people with us that had more, way more experience than us to help us because I could barely freaking carry a, what we were doing western riding and I could barely carry a western saddle. Sorry, we're getting sidetracked. Okay, let's get some energy in her. Anyways, <laughs> so it was, I just, and I haven't horse ridden ever since then. And yeah, it's been a pretty long time. Let's just say that. 
and I just, I was very excited to play a horse game that was so close to it, where it just, it felt so real. I mean, these horses have personalities, and it just, they just look so realistic. I love it. So, of course, I had to submit an application to be a beta tester. Thankfully, I am. And I actually visited her. Her name's Miss Jane. I actually visited her not too long ago over the summer. Well, obviously, it was too hot to ride the horses. And all the horses that I knew of back then, they obviously passed away. Because it's been several, like, 10 plus years. It's been over 10 years, but I I can say exactly. <laughs> and I, I do miss horse riding. And we were doing western riding, and it was just so much fun. Uh... I'm trying to think of a memory. Well, one of the most memorable, or is that how you say that word? The one memory I won't get out of my head is when uh, one of my friends, oh crap, I forgot to give her energy. <laughs> one of my friends that was also going with me, I think she actually invited me to it. Anyways, so one of my friends, she was riding this horse. I don't know what she did to this horse, but this horse started bucking. <laughs> And, but it just was, I think, just bucking, not rearing. And she stayed on there like a trooper. It was so interesting to watch. And I don't know, I was kind of like scared for her, but. And like, but Miss Jane was praising her, like, nice job staying on the horse. And, um, I don't know what happened after that. It's, it's been a while, so memory's kind of fuzzy. Oh, yeah, carrot. <laughs> What's this for? Oh, okay. So, oh, cool. Um, but I also do remember some, some more things. Uh, she had horses of like variety, with like a variety of. Sorry, I yeah, I can't speak right now. Oh, Lingy, one second. With a huge variety of personalities, obviously they. And so, like, there was this. I call them this. Don't quote me on it, but like, there's like this beginner horse. Then you have your more experienced one. And I'll. For example, um, there's this one horse where um, you could. I guess not really. You could give him a good kick, and he would go, while there's this another horse where you barely tap him, and he goes. And uh, the first horse that I'm talking about, he's like kind of a laid-back horse, he doesn't spook easily, and kind of with that personality, but then you got, there was apparently the sassy horse where, sorry, I'm going, <laughs> where um, she only likes, I guess, certain riders or something, I don't know. But I guess she had attitude with some people. <laughs> and this one girl, uh, her parents were renting the horse out for their daughter that was taking the 4-H class. And I guess because Sassy liked her. I don't know, but okay. And um, I rode this one horse. His name was Pappy. And I call him like an easy horse because like you barely tap him and he goes. <laughs> Let's see, what do I want to do? I don't know if he was like a real kind of edgy horse though that spooks easy because I I don't ever remember getting thrown off or anything from him. He's just like, you literally just tap and he goes. You don't have to like fully squeeze or anything. Not even a full kick and he'll go. Um, what do I want to work on? I guess that's something. But I do remember riding Pappy, and I, I, I was trying to do this obstacle course, I believe. Like maybe, I, I was told to back him up. I have no idea why. I can't remember. And I think I did this weird backing up sidestep thing with him by accident, because I have no idea how he did that. <laughs> um. And another thing I remember is, I. I never galloped with any of the horses that I can personally remember. I never did, um, what's it called? Bareback. 
we were supposed to, but I don't know, it kept being like delayed or something. They just never let us do bareback, although we talked about it doing it. I don't know why. But it was just so much fun. I enjoyed being around the horses. Oh, <laughs> I just remembered another thing. <laughs> so, so, um, I don't, so when we're about to finish, and there's going to be, um, going to bed in their stalls, we ride them back. We don't walk them back, okay? <laughs> and so I was riding a horse, I forgot who, and he decides that he can't wait and he I think almost did or that he did galloped with me and I could not control this horse and I was trying to and I was kind of getting a little scared because I'm a child and this horse is about to freaking sprint for its food because when they go to bed they also get um fed and of course that happened see and but I, I don't know what happened I think maybe someone came and grab them or something or that we finally got to where we tie them up to take off the saddle and groom them down for their for them to finally go to bed and eat their dinner but I don't I don't think he went faster than a trot but honestly I can't remember <laughs> I just remember kind of being like worried and maybe even scared that he's just gonna gallop off and because I couldn't control him oh that was beautiful why can't I do jumps like that all the time that's huh and I live in Arizona <laughs> so unfortunately we we can't really ride horses all that much here I mean not in the summer because oh my geez unless you're in an indoor arena with freaking AC which I don't even know if there is something like that but I'm gonna go ride somewhere else but so we would not ride them uh, during the summer when especially when it gets like over a hundred something degrees we definitely wouldn't ride them I don't know what's the highest that we would ride them at but it would get to a certain degree where she wouldn't let us ride them. Instead, we stayed indoors and we would... I believe we still, like, did all the stuff. Like, cleaned out their stalls and whatnot. And fed them and stuff. Yeah. I don't even know I could do this. Oh, crap. Is it glitching? And then, indoors, she would just test us on our skills. And we do... We just, um... Just, uh, like, just talk about what we were learning through it, like, uh, bo body parts of the horse, and also, I can't remember, just quizzes about horses, <laughs> that's all I really know. Um, I also do remember something that, um, we were, like, doing these interesting, just, like, pra like, fake practicing dressage classes. Yeah, dressage shows, but off the horse, I don't know what those are called. Where you just, um, just walk them while, uh, with the lead rope. I don't know what that's called, but I, we were doing something like that. Um, like practicing, but not practicing because us, <laughs> the not so experienced ones, we wouldn't be actually in the show, but the more experienced ones that would work with us, they were going in the shows with their horses. And so we'd practice doing whatever weird dressage thing, ground dressage that thing was. And then we actually went to a show of her horses and her more advanced students going to actual shows. And we were grading them. And to be honest, I had no idea how that grading works. I don't really, I was just told, I think maybe to do like 1 to 10 based on performance, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I was confused throughout the entire time on what in the world I was supposed to be doing. So I just, um, kind of just went, went with the flow and just writing random numbers and the spaces. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I remember. And uh, freak, if I leave this, it's gonna make me start all over.
Sorry, I'm trying to find another jump. Anyway, so... Also remember, my grandparents, when we went to that show, they went with us. And they did come with me to some 4-H riding events. Anyways. Um, so we went to the show. My grandparents decided to buy everyone. I mean everyone. Well, at least, you know, my 4-H group. McDonald's. Like, how freaking nice is that? To buy everyone freaking lunch. I thought that was so amazing. Don't ask me how much it costs because I have no idea. But I'm pretty sure it was like 50 plus dollars. Because they didn't even go cheap neither, I don't think. I, I don't know. I don't remember. I just remember them buying everyone McDonald's. So I'm like, oh, well, that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> they were My grandparents were freaking amazing, but that's a whole new story. Um, growing up, I didn't really that much more really learn that much more about horses. Just, um, I kind of actually forgot what I learned in 4 H. Like, we also, like, the parts of saddle, all I really remember is called the horn. The horn of on a western saddle. Um, what else do I remember? I sort of remember how to pick up a horse's hoof when clean out the hooves. Um. What else do I remember? <laughs> Um, I remember when you go behind a horse, always, like, pat them on the butt, or, like, make, well, we were told to make noise, but obviously, you know, not so much as scare them just so they can hear us, and then pat their butts. Um, what else? Don't really, I remember maybe, like, a saddle cinch, I don't know what that is. Um, there's, I'm trying to remember, like, parts of the saddle, uh, there's, you got your, um, well, for western saddle, you got the horn, um, stirrups, that's what they're called, <laughs> where you, the thing you put your feet in, and yeah, I, I know, I was messing up on the controls right there, um, I don't, Oh, excuse me. I don't really know much about the English saddle, though. Is this the same riding arena? I'm just gonna do it because, yeah, I don't see any other jumps. Um. There's a girth. I don't know if that's part of the horse or if that's your saddle. <laughs> um. Main tail, obviously. Got the barrel of the horse, which is like the, I think the rib area? The round part of the horse. Then you got your hooves. I think they're called fetlocks with the feet or something. I don't know. Nostra. Hey! Hey, 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 wait, wait. Oh, sweet. I completely jumped. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do a different trail road. And I'm gonna ride Raven now. Sorry, my mouth is going dry so fast with all this talking. And, um, I would, I, I would like to get back in saddle. It looks so much fun, and I did really enjoy it. To pick her tech now. Oh, that's actually really pretty. But actually... No, that's, no. What? I'm gonna see something. I don't think we can ride bareback. Bare naked, just kidding. Bare. Back. <laughs> let's see if this works. I doubt it, but let's see. I mean, I doubt it, but let's see. Anyways, um, I can probably message her talk to her and maybe um ride one of the horses she has now because she rescued like yeah I didn't think I would be able to so let's go back and I'm sorry I'm getting like so sidetracked while I try, try saying something <sighs> she obviously she rescues horses actually um 
Yeah, I, well, I believe from what I know of, back then she rescued all of her horses. Sassy apparently was almost starved to death when she rescued her. Um, and then I believe she rescued all the other horses, the other people didn't want them or something. I, I don't know, she didn't really tell me in depth stories or, um, I can't remember them. <laughs> But I just know that she does rescue them, either people don't want them or something. She rescues them in some way, shape, or form. Now to find... What am I gonna ride her in? But, yeah, I don't... I don't know if I am gonna ride again, but... <laughs> Without having a car, I mean, it's kinda... I wouldn't want to like go. I can't get her out so early, you know, and help her out with the stall, like mucking out stalls and stuff. And, and yeah, I mean, I'd actually have to pay for it this time instead of my stepdad. So. <laughs> I do miss it though. It was so much fun. any other freaking like horse riding place I don't I don't know I'm skeptical about them I guess just cause I don't know how said person treats their horses I don't know how the horses have been treated Kinda of scary. <laughs> but with her, you know, I already with Miss Jane I have a relationship with her, you know. Or at least had. <laughs> I did know her before, I mean. So it's not like I'm just going up to a complete stranger and be like, okay, how much to ride your horse for how long, you know? So Yeah, I mean Maybe I will have to look into that. <laughs> Better save. Pretty sure I'll save. Get look into horseback riding again. <sighs> we're gonna go ahead and train Raven now on what we're doing with Sandstorm if it lets me. <laughs> All right, thank you. Man, this already a freaking twenty-two minutes. Only tw almost twenty-three. Um, more things of what that, um, about the 4-H thing that I learned. Always wear a freaking helmet. <laughs> um, I think we didn't always wear boots. We never wear spurs. I do remember that. I think someone who owned Pappy did. I don't know. I think maybe some, one rider wore spurs. I'm not sure though. Not exactly sure. Um, I never did. To this day, I still don't like them. I'm like, I think to myself how I don't want to be poked. Or don't want something jabbing me even if it's... It's even if it's like a spoon, or if you were to jab a sp wait, hold on, whoops, I have to start this. <laughs> even if you were stabbed a butter knife or some a spoon into my side, I still would not like that. I'd prefer to be just squeezed by. Anyways, I'm taking this whole new thing. If I was a horse, I would prefer something not sharp and poking me. Or is not, I wouldn't want any object poking me. I'd rather just be gently kicked, like or like nudge with my feet. Low nudging, you know. I mean, that's not gonna hurt. Hopefully, low nudging just to make me go. No, I don't want anything poking me in my sides. Cause I've seen some. They they're sharp. They can get sharp. I'm like, damn. Like why? Like. The, that's what I'm wondering, like, why would someone use spurs? Is this some training method or something? But, but, I don't like them, but I mean, 
maybe they could be used in a safe way. Because I've seen spurs where they're not sharp now. With apparently they're, um, you can rub them on your skin, it's not gonna break your skin. But I'm like, eh, still. I still don't like them. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I don't, I don't wear spurs. Always wore jeans. Always were told to wear pants or, well, jeans actually, for the most part. Because apparently horses are itchy if you're riding for like an hour or whatever. That's what my mom told me. She used to have one with her parents. Wait, what? Oh, I'm cantering. I'm sorry, I totally forgot what freaking... Oh, jeez. Damn it. Come on. Sorry. I forgot what challenge I was doing. Anyways. And this was the training that I just found out that I can do with my horses. The in-person training. Because I'm like... Okay, I can't just put them in the riding hall and train them, right? No, I click on this little horsey with the arrow. And I looked on the bottom. Like, I never looked on the bottom. Ever since I've been playing this game, I never looked on the bottom. I never seen this at the bottom. And uh, apparently, I guess it was always there. So I feel stupid for never saying that. <laughs> now what? Let's see. Canter extended. Okay. Doing some cantering extending. And apparently, we were supposed to never hold down these buttons to canter, trot, or walk. We're supposed to just press on them a few times. And that's it. We're never supposed to hold them down. Stop being scared. Come on, you got this. Yay. Oh my jeez. Anyways. More training. Ugh, I cannot do canter collected. I was can get mad at me and buck me off. Working and extended. Okay, I can do that. So the- oh crap. <laughs> so this up arrow that I'm pushing? Oh. Yeah, I'm, I, I realize I'm pulling on the reins now. No, I don't- I want to do the extended first. Thank you. So with the two arrows going inwards? We used to have to hold them down, and apparently that was a bug. We were never supposed to- Damn it. It is- Okay, this is harder than I thought. Anyways. <laughs> we were never supposed to hold down the arrows pointing inward. We were only supposed to tap on them, just like with the arrow going up. But they fixed that. And now I- I, I don't know, I kind of found it a little harder, a little more tricky now. What else? I cannot do cloak to trot. I'm doing a collected trot. It's so hard. I mean, I can try and pull it off. Don't think I can. And I just, I love the animations in this game. The horse movements, the sounds. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And they are a small team, too. I know everyone's getting impatient for the release, but it'll come. Don't worry. <laughs> It will come. I do not know what other region is supposed to be next after the one region that they just announced. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> but yeah, I have no idea. Even if I did, I'm not supposed to. I'm probably not even supposed to share it right now. But I can share this. Whenever the breeding feature comes, I don't know yet. Don't know when the breeding feature will come, but it's probably going to take, I'm guessing. My personal guess is into next year. But who knows? Well, I don't know yet. And when it does come, I'm going to breed Raven and Sandstorm for another Welsh Cub baby. And for another Welsh Cub. <laughs> I haven't bred yet. Wow, another one. Anyways, I meant to say for a Welsh Cub baby. And I'm just, I'm very stoked for that. I wonder what her coat, what the coat will look like. I'm guessing, personally, I'm going to guess um, a light brown. Palomino with black. I'm going to guess a light brown, but 
I don't really know about the horse breeding stuff at all for the most part. I just know that the traits go both mother and father. No matter what species it is, the baby will always have, for the most part, for most species, the baby will always have, like, the mother and father species traits. <laughs> so, I can't wait for that. Um... I think it's like more else what I can't wait for in the game. I can't wait for a full game. <laughs> when this game is finally done and all the guys do is like fix bugs or um, work on maybe some stuff that they wanted to do in the past. But then they just put it off until release or something. Um, I don't know any about anything about horse interaction. I think maybe it's on the table. I don't know if it's implemented yet. I think the biggest thing right now is that making foals for all the horse breeds and implementing breeding right now. I'm pretty sure that's their biggest thing. Um, sorry. I'm training still. <laughs> Actually, kind of getting tired. Um, I'm gonna end this video actually. But thank you for watching. Thank you so much. I can't believe... I have 31 subscribers. I'm like, where did you guys come from? Thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you for watching. I hope... Um, I hope to talk in more videos. And let me know if you do like me talking in more videos. I can't go live, unfortunately. But I can go live on my Twitch. I'll put it in the description. Comment. Or actually, let's do this. Comment if... You would like me to go live on Twitch. And so I'll see you later. See you next time. And thank you so much for watching.